Hello and welcome to the Gale Blade News. TikTok has blocked a number of hashtags related to QAnon conspiracy theory from appearing in search results amid concern about this misinformation the BBC has learned. It comes days after Twitter banned thousands of QAnon related accounts. QAnon is a wide ranging unfounded conspiracy theory whose uh, followers support US President uh, Donald Trump. They believe the president is battling a clandestine deep state network of political business and media elites. TikTok said it moved to restrict QAnon truth uh, searches after a question from the BBC's anti-disinformation unit, which noticed a spike in conspiracy theories using the tag. The company expressed concern that such misinformation could harm users and the general public. QAnon and related hashtags such as Out of Shadows, Full Cable and QAnon Truth will no longer return search results on TikTok, although videos using the same tags will remain on the platform. Videos using the QAnon hashtag in particular have millions of cumulative views and can still be found if a user's algorithm directs them to the associated content. Many videos promote unfounded conspiracy theories. Recently, some of them endorsed baseless claims linking furniture firm Wayfair to child trafficking. TikTok's intervention comes after uh, Twitter announced measures earlier this week, also aimed at cracking down on the QAnon conspiracy theorists, including banning thousands of accounts. It said the suspensions will be applied to accounts that are engaged in violations of our multi-account policy, coordinating abuse around uh, individual victims, or are attempting to evade a previous suspension. Twitter also said it would stop recommending content linked to QAnon and block URLs, associated with it from being shared on the platform in an attempt to prevent offline harm. Celebrities, including model Chrissy Teigen, have been victims of coordinated abuse from QAnon's conspiracy theorists in recent weeks. Sources close to Facebook say the social media site is looking to take similar action over supporters of the conspiracy theory. QAnon groups on the site have hundreds of thousands of members cumulatively. So what is QAnon? QAnon began on October 2017 on the anonymous uh, message board 4chan. A user claimed to have top security clearance within the US government and signed off their qu quote posts as Q, hence the name QAnon. Q communicates in cryptic posts and claims to be directly involved in a secret investigation into a global network of child abusers. The total list of QAnon claims is enormous and often contradictory. Most recently, QAnon conspiracy theorists have spread a number of unfounded conspiracy theories about coronavirus, ranging from claims about the pandemic being a hoax to outlandish suggestions about face masks and vaccines. The central theory about a malicious deep state network of elites fo followed on from the Pizzagate saga in 2016. A fake theory about Democratic Party politicians running a pedophile ring out of a Washington pizza restaurant. Many QAnon influencers have big uh, audiences on social media, they urge followers to do their own research, in other words, watch YouTube videos and talk to other supporters to solve Q's puzzles. So what do you think of this? I personally am in favour of removing these types of conspiracy theorists uh, because some of them some of them are relatively harmless. I mean, if you're going to believe certain things such as, I don't know, Area 51, um, then really that's up to you, that's your decision. Uh, but there are some which are quite dangerous, which um, could, you know, for people who are quite easily influenced, um, could uh, cause them to, you know, be like a call to action uh, for them to respond and for them to actually do things which are either illegal or very immoral um, to people who may not deserve it in the first place. Uh, whatever you think, leave your comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe.